right here, okay? So event.target is gonna be whatever uh, listener uh, or whatever symbol kind of triggered the listening event. Okay, so let's pu um, publish this real fast. And there is a problem. I don't know why the little code chains in there um, is messing with our rollover, but uh, for some reason it is. And I actually had this same issue now that I think about it when I was testing out this lesson. Um, yeah, for some reason when we, when we change over to event.target uh, instead of um, uh, using or hard coding in there, menu one, uh, it, it really wants to recognize the rollover event a bit more specifically. So do this, copy out the just the highlight right here. If it's easier, you can lock up that layer with the text. Just copy the highlight and then uh, go over here and paste it in place on that first uh, blank frame that we had. And you could change this to being uh, just black to match the background. You could even take the alpha on that um, color down all the way. Uh, to make it kind of totally invisible, but it is uh, uh, just selectable artwork underneath there. And I'm going to copy that one more time. So I'm going to go to copy. And then for each of these other symbols that we have, I'm going to paste that in place. Paste it in place. And I think now we should be good. Let's test it out. Okay, sure enough. Uh, that works uh, how we had it before. Okay, uh, we still need to address it. Uh, being stuck on that one frame but at least now we can uh, just keep writing out here for as many menus as we have this um, same event listener okay so they're all gonna go and use that same function uh, let's just be sure one more time yep that works and that works and that works okay all right uh, now let's go and copy that chunk if you want you could even put up here at the top um, all my rollovers okay and then we'll put a, another little note, and you do that with two slash marks. All my roll outs. Okay, the things that we need to change here are obviously instead of a mouse over, we're going to be using mouse out. Okay, so out, out, and we'll change the function name. The function name is uh, a name of our choosing. Okay, whereas. Anything that uh, turns green like that is going to be uh, kind of a you know, part of the real code. Okay, go to out. And uh, we could make this be uh, another frame here. It doesn't have to go back to frame one. Uh, but for right now, let's just keep it simple and go back to frame one. Let's publish this out one more time. Bup, 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 bup. Okay, perfect, right? Uh, one thing that I like to do, and you can call me old school, is I like to see the hand cursor show up when you roll over something. So I'm going to set uh, menu one to being in button mode. Uh, that equals true. And let's copy this uh, out for two and three. And I'm going to paste those out again. Use hand cursor. By the way, uh, I read recently that uh, the next version of Flash will have a better code hinting. So, like if you did something like menu one dot uh, writing U, then S, maybe if you hit escape or it might auto fill in the rest of the text. Okay. And there are alternative action script writing programs out there that do those nice things for you. It just hasn't been something that uh, we've had yet in the real version of Flash. Okay. Um, the only kind of buggy thing I think going on is when you jump from one to the next, you might notice a little bit of a, um, not an issue, I want to call it, but um, it does tend to help if you have a little bit more spacing between these guys. So that there's a clear kind of roll out and then roll on to the next one. But it, again, it's not, I don't think it's that big of a problem. Okay, so do you want to actually see what happens <laughs> or the code to go to a real website? Let's go ahead and get that in there for what the, to at least have it occur in the first half hour of this lesson. But uh, we could go and do a couple things here. We could use click, all right. Yeah, we could also go with um, 
house down. Okay. And I'm just going to write go to site. Let's copy out stuff that we know we're going to be using from before. And we'll change the function name to go to site event. Mouse event stays the same. Uh, we are going to write var request. That will change color. So it's going to be a URL request. And actually, you know what? Now that I think about it, this doesn't have to be a reserved kind of function here in the program. We could write CS request. CS standing for Cartoon Smart in this case. URL request. And here's where we type in the domain name to go to, cartoonsmart.com. And almost running out of room there. I think we got it. One more, and then we write navigate to URL. And then we put in here CS request, comma. And if you want this to open up in a blank window or a new browser window, you can put blank right there. Alternatively, you could also write um, self. In the testing environment, uh, it's not going to matter. It's obviously going to try to open up a, a, a new browser window either way. But let's go ahead and publish, make sure that is correct. And I think that was menu one that we clicked on. So I'm going to click on it. And sure enough, it is bringing us over to the website. OK. And once again, you could also copy out this line and write menu two. That's kind of pointless, though, because why would you be doing making more than one link to go to the same website. Uh, let's do this a little. Let's copy this out and do menu two. And let's um, say go to section, all right? And in this case, we will take uh, the main timeline and have it go to a specific um, section for um, whatever your hobbies okay so go to and stop again this could be go to and play but we're going to use go to and stop and we could put in a specific frame number now keep in mind that if we write in two right there and test this out nothing's going to happen because we don't actually have anything at frame two in fact our timeline is still stuck at frame one uh, so we would need to put that in there and let's move that out of the way for a second do f5 um, you can also, though, put a frame label in here, and that's a little bit easier to kind of keep track of in a uh, bigger website. So I'm going to come out here to frame 10. I'm going to hit F7 or go over here to insert blank keyframe. And in the menu, you see label, okay, when you have that blank keyframe selected. And we could just write in here hobbies, okay. And you get to see right here up here on the timeline that it says hobbies. That's always kind of nice. Let's go back over here into our actions. So instead of hard coding in a number, we can put in quotes, hobbies. All right, and you gotta do both your opening and closing quotes. Go to and stop. And we should be good to test this out. Of course, at this point, we, um, we're not gonna see any graphical change on the um, stage. So let's make sure that we make some sort of change. What I'll do is I'll blank out the logo at that point. So let's test this again. And oops, duplicate uh, function definition. You'll probably run into that uh, because you were just typing as I did. And we made a little bit of a mistake, mistake here. Uh, that would be this right here. I forgot to change the function name uh, for this uh, new function that we're going to. All right, so go to section. Now let's publish it out again. And, oh, why is the logo blinking like that? It's because we forgot to tell the main timeline to stop once we start writing code over there. So let's just write stop. So that's the first thing uh, that will occur. We'll stop playing the main timeline, and we are stuck at frame one. If you want to kind of verify that, boy, this is turning into a basic lesson. <laughs> We're going to go over here to the bandwidth profiler, and uh, your bandwidth profiler is nice uh, for a few things. You can kind of see if you have a, a running timeline. You'll get this little indicator right up here at the top that will show you it playing through. Of course, we're stopped at frame one right now, so it too is stopped. Uh, but it also gives you a frame by frame of uh, the, the what bandwidth you're costing uh, the, the user or, or making them.